and life without Gunnar Stockton in Raven County officially begins now with a top 10 matchup. It is a scrimmage game, but still a big one. Raven County comes in number three in the state polls and number nine for Bowden. So a big top 10 matchup to open the can on the 2022 season. Let's see how everything unfolds. Early on in the first quarter, Keegan Stover finds Corey Keller. We're gonna see that quite a bit this season. Keller takes it all the way down, uh, just about inside the red zone. And moments later, Stover goes up and over to Jaden Gibson, incredible catch. He's going to be the all-time leader in yardage and touchdowns, is our bet, by the end of this season in Georgia State history. So that's 7-0 Wildcats. And then Stover goes long, dials long distance here to Gibson, toe taps in the back corner of the end zone, makes it 14-zip in the second quarter. And after Bowden pulled within seven, Corey Keller off to the races, and he gets a little bit of help there when two guys collide and sort of propel him forward toward the end zone. So a big touchdown there. That one went for 65 yards and directly answered Bowden's touchdown. And they're not done yet, still in the second quarter. Picks it up off the ground and Stover steps forward. Loving to see this. Paul Pachotti, what a great catch there. Great hookup. And then he goes to Lang Windham, shifting his way through traffic in for pay dirt. That one went for 18 yards, 28 to 14, Raven County. And how about in the third quarter, we have a field goal here by Marcus Ramilliard. That one's good. And then the future of Raven County is always fun to look at. And it's Ty Love showing what he can do with his legs, picks up some big time real estate. And then he shows the ability to throw the ball as well. As he goes long here for Reed Giles, another future big time playmaker for Raven County. And then Cody Woodard is gonna put a Bow on the box with the scoring and chip shot field goals good. 34-21 your final. Raven County wins in the scrimmage.